the Ulster semi-final, Donegal against Down. It's as if Donegal are unbackable yeah. going into this game. Do you see it that way? Do you think it's going to be easy for Donegal? It's not going to be easy. You have to fancy the All Ireland champions. They've been very, very good over the last couple of years. Down will look back at last year's Ulster final and say to themselves, if they had have taken their opportunities in the first half, they might have been closer to Donegal, but they weren't. And that's the key thing. You know, Down are a team that you know potentially can score goals, which they proved in the second half against Derry. They've got a couple of class forwards. Mark Poland in particular is is uh, a very underrated footballer. You know, he's a good link player and, and can get on the end of the ball and, and take his own score as well. Kevin McKernan seems to have a new lease of life. You know, uh, sometimes when you move a player from one position to the next, it really um, gives them the authority to run the, the, the show and, and certainly against Derry he had a fantastic match and playing from midfield seems to, to free him up a wee bit more but um, you know you have to fancy Donegal here they are the All-Iron Champions they've got, some, they've got leaders throughout the pitch um, Carl Lacey will be a big loss though in this match it's 2004 um, since he last missed the Nutsa Championship match and he will be a big loss and this game in particular really showed the influence that he has in the Donegal team, but I still think Donegal will squeeze the life out of this down attack and um, come out eventual winners. But I don't think it's going to be the walk in the park that everyone believes it will be. I was on Downings at the weekend, and Donegal were training on Downings at the weekend. I didn't see them train, but uh, people told me uh, later on that they went up to watch them mm-hmm. at close quarters and were asked to leave. Yeah. Because uh, they were worried about people taking pictures or. You know, photographs of the boys training, is that not a wee bit over the top, Stephen? Sometimes it can be over the top, but you look at Jimmy McGuinness' style of management and he doesn't like to, to let too much, uh, too many secrets out of the camp. But then, listen, if that's the case, why would you train on a pitch in an area, in a village that uh, is is frequented by so many tourists? Yeah, exactly, you know, and... and um, Kerry have had a policy over the years of, of um, allowing supporters and fans in and this year Ian Fitzmaurice um, closed the doors to all of that there and it all depends on the manager's mood I suppose but um, coming up to an Ulster semi-final you know in the past I, I know myself um, you don't mind some supporters having to watch and, and looking in but the closer it gets to the game you know you want everything to be kept in house and I'm sure Jimmy McGuinness is probably feeling a wee bit nervous coming into this match so he doesn't want anything getting out. I was going to say to you too, you were, you're tipping Donegal as the Ulster and re- reigning All-Ireland champions to go through there. If they do go through there, would you would you still see life for this downside in the championship? Yeah, absolutely. Down have had a good enough record in the, in the qualifiers over the past number of years, especially under James McCartan. Um, they will make life difficult for any team that they're going to be uh, facing. But um, can they get the batteries recharged in time You know, for the second round of the qualifiers or not? It remains to be seen, but certainly... Um, I wouldn't rule down out in terms of having a good long summer yet.